Actually, you can talk about we just went out, you went on a test drove cars. Mm -hmm. We should make the president happy because they're green vehicles. They are green vehicles. Yep. Okay, everybody, this is not a spring tip. We actually just came back. We were out testing cars earlier today for Ford. They're energy vehicles, electric vehicles. Actually, I was really surprised. Um, they were really smooth. And drove really well. Oh, anyway, okay, we'll get back to this. Anyway, we're going to bring all Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. First thing is, they always say, it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually, it is all over for the Republicans because they, uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, Congre the Democratic congressman denounced the Republicans and said that their hearing, they no longer needed to have any hearings because they, it was just a bureaucratic foul up and there's no scandal in Benghazi and they feel, they really feel sorry for the families of the people who were killed. But there's no one that it can be blamed on. Well, yes, there is. It's called, it's called Harry Truman. I, I actually was there when Harry Truman basically made the famous statement, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. My father was a, a military attache to Omar Bradley. And so I got to go in. And, and then I played baseball on Harry Truman's baseball diamond, too, in the backyard. So I, I, we knew the Trumans when he said that. Ah, so yep. that's, you had a unique perspective. That's right. An Ohio woman missing for a decade has daughter. Yeah, amazing. They, they were trying to, for two days, they, well, they're not certain that it's one of their girls. Well, yeah, I would think so. The amazing thing is that there was only one child in all that time. And then how do you hide the, the birth of a kid and a kid, a six-year-old kid, from neighbors? It basically, um, like I said, my father was a, a Los Angeles uh, motorcycle officer from the 1930s into the 1960s mm -hmm. and my father would have said that he said that sounds like the most unbelievable thing they only things like that only happen in movies they don't happen in real life folks it's ah. just no the neighbors didn't know the people the girls never went out they you know they, they were you know somebody had to notice clothes being bought for females uh-huh <laughs> yeah. And the extra food that was going in for one person. And Iron Man 3 outpacing the Great Gatsby. Well, actually, they said that Iron, actually, Great Gatsby. Great is, they said Great Gatsby is greatly out, outclassing the, the Iron Man 3. But the problem is, is we have been into theaters where they have told us they're sold out. And there's, uh, well, we went into one theater that was sold out. And um, I think there was us and about five other people. What happens is, is that. Um, that the theaters don't want to look like they're losing money, so they'll just simply say the seats are sold out. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just the way it works because it's, when you book, the, uh, if you listen carefully, the theaters tend to eat a lot of the cost to the opening of the film, and then the money comes to the studios afterwards. So they don't want a movie opening to look like it's tanked because no. their, their money's still coming. Mm -hmm. And Kenna 3 arrested Ohio Brothers, totally shocked. I know, like nobody knows. I mean, first of all, I, I'm uh, right again. You can't keep somebody locked up in a house in Cleveland, Ohio, for ten years, a few blocks away from where they lived, and nobody notice it. It just isn't done, no matter what. I mean, like the the, the Elizabeth Smart girl, she they took her out all the time in a in a hood and stuff. I mean, um, like my 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 father told my my sisters. He said uh, told them. He said don't. Pay, he said, don't play a bank to bank to what the teachers are telling you. He said, kick the guy in the shins and run like hell and scream at the top of your lungs. Mm -hmm. Because if they capture you, they generally kill you. They don't put you in prison for years. And Bill Clinton and Bloomberg unveiled climate risk project. Oh yeah, that, uh, that as, as the weather is getting more and more and more miserable, it, it's, we've, they're, they're, okay, Al Gore is now backed off from global warming and just going to be a multi-millionaire person from selling a station to Al Jazeera. He was funny, he was offered more money by uh, Glenn Beck for the station than Al Jazeera paid, but unfortunately Al Jazeera is closer to his political leaning than his Beck. Mm. And the White House denies Obama ad libbed Syria red line on chemical weapons. Well, he, he, okay, if he wasn't in front of a teleprompter, he ad-libbed it, folks. That's the way it works. Because, oh! they, okay, that's one they say they can tell. Like they gave a man seven years in a federal prison for stealing Obama's teleprompter before an important speech. Mm -hmm. They said that it will be overturned because uh, seven years for selling a, uh, for stealing a teleprompter is nothing more than a piece of, uh, of uh, as a receiver with a wire attached to it, it's probably, you can go, it's, it's not grand theft according to the law, you can't send a person to federal prison on a misdemeanor charge. 
And Obama heads out for a bipartisan golf game. <laughs> no, he didn't. He said the same thing he did last night. They, he's basically huddling down with all the Democrats. Uh, uh, he's, they're having. He's going to play golf. They're playing basketball. He's taking him out to dinner because he's he's in huge trouble because the Democrats are no longer supporting him on a lot of his issues. And Mark Sanford's long road to redemption leads to Tuesday polls. Well, he became a congressman. He went from governor to congressman. The next thing up is the senator's job, folks. And uh, the, the, first of all, nobody pays any attention if you're fooling around with somebody else. Uh, she wasn't somebody else's wife. She was a, uh, he just, what happened was, I can understand his, uh, what happens is, is the, him and the wife were no longer on the same page of anything anymore. But she, uh, she wanted him to run for president. He didn't want to run for president, and basically. And could cause a little bit of a problem. Yeah, and basically, he just found out. He just went and fooled around with some female that didn't care whether he ran for president or not, which she actually is probably going to do. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. If you got yourself a hot, okay. Uh, look no further than the Modern Family with Ed O'Neill and his Latin wife, how all uh -huh. of a sudden he does the things that he would never do before uh -huh. because he wants to please her. Uh -huh. And find expected in-house on online sales tax. Yeah, the, okay, the, the way it works is every small business in the universe is going to get stuck because they, they will not, the, the Senate will not put into the language that you only have to have one audit. Basically they said there are 9,700 plus individual counties in the United States that according to the law can require every business online to do it whether they're selling in their state or not to do an online audit of whether they owe them sales tax or not. Uh, yep. And a Monty bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Well you can only start over so many times. <laughs>